y'all. It's Simply Nikki back with another video. Alright y'all. Today I am going to be showing y'all my night routine with my hair. Okay. Y'all I don't do nothing special. Okay. I stretch my hair at night. Y'all I use my oil that I make. And I oil my scalp really good. And I just stretch my hair. I use a bunch of satin scrunchies. Y'all that I keep in a old um, little Amazon bag. I just keep those. So I'm going to go through. And I'm just going to oil my scalp. Y'all I did take out my, my um, I'm about to say my hair. Y'all I did take out my twist off camera but I did not stretch my hair I mean I did not uh, separate my hair normally I separate my twist but this time I did not I just took it out but how is everybody doing today and how was y'all today y'all it is night time of course because this is a night hair routine <laughs> So, y'all, that's all I do. The access oil, I just put inside my hands. Y'all, I massage my scalp really good. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, that's scalp. I said that's all. That scalp massage is life, okay? Alright, now from here. I just split my hair down the middle and I start with one half at a time then I split this hair in half where it will naturally split y'all know on the first day I do not uh, separate my hair I just wear it like this and then on the second day I will do some separation but I love I love this definition y'all so once again I don't think I'm gonna separate my hair I think that I'm gonna leave it let me see y'all my mirror is right here so I'm just trying to see if I should separate it or not but I don't think I'm going to separate it right now. Because I think that this right here is just cute. So, y'all, yeah, I'm not going to separate it. But I am going to split this half into half back here. So, I'm going to put this, this part up and split that in half. So, on this side, y'all, I have three sections. And for this right here, very back, y'all, yeah, just pull a little bit of oil on my fingertips not that much just a little bit and I rub it in my fingers and y'all I just take my hands and scrunch it out all the way down to the ends because we've already oiled our scalp hold on y'all I got hair on the side of this supposed to be up in the ponytail so y'all so yeah, I'm going to put this part in the ponytail and now for this back part right here let me turn this way so that y'all can see me oh, wait. Cause this right here part is still up in the way put another bow up here y'all keep that about the way okay now for this right here section I take it and I'm not like yanking it down okay I'm just holding it and then I'm wrapping the scrunchies around my hair and going downward okay I'm not letting this part go even though if you do let it go it's nothing gonna happen you just gotta grab it on again and I keep on going down not putting them on real tight I just go down to the point that um, it feels tight enough to me it's not you know killing it at the at the uh, you know I don't want like no dents up in my hair put it that way 
and then this is as far as I go I don't go no further than this so I leave that part out even though I could stretch a little bit more but I'm not now what I do is because this right here part just be sticking out I normally take my finger and I just pull up on it just a little bit and just so that part can just lay down and as y'all can see it's loose right here and that's what you want when you're going to sleep you don't want it extra tight I move on to my next section y'all since my hair has gotten a little longer I haven't been doing too many sections so like this right here is going to be another section and then right here I'm going to break this into two sections let me back up some so I do the same thing put a couple of drops of oil my fingers rub it in and y'all just take and scrunch it all the way down to the ends do the same thing grab my hair bow can y'all see me yeah I think so comment down below if you can't because my hair is turned y'all done left a piece of hair out of the other part come with y'all all right y'all back on to my other section because I had to redo that one due to me leaving out a strand of hair okay all right y'all we are gonna put our oil right there this right here one I'm gonna do the same thing from the roots go ahead and band it like I said you want to make sure that all your curls though at the ends or at the end you got to make sure that you don't have one folded up because that has happened to me before and then when it was time for me to take it out y'all I had that little curl sticking up so you want to make sure you hold it all your hair and y'all I don't grab the colors in any order I just pick them up and keep it pushing I'm going to show y'all what I do at the end when I'm done because sometimes I'll be like okay I could have stretched it a little bit uh, more so what I do is y'all I'm looking inside my mirror by the way what I do is I pull it down a little bit in my middle section I always stretch it again at the roots because my middle section y'all is just a different texture of hair so it takes a little bit more to stretch it so I put four hair bows on this section I put four on this section I put three so it really all depends on your section and for this right here one I'm not doing this all in one right here even though it will all fit y'all I'm gonna break this in half and I'm just gonna do this section and I'm gonna tell y'all the reason why because I want this hair laying down this way and not going upward so I'm gonna split that right here now this right here section I'm gonna put up in a ponytail this right here is gonna be one whole section and when y'all sectioning y'all hair off don't put that tight you don't want to disturb your curl pattern What step did I forget? Let's see who knows. Oil. <laughs> Put some oil in them fingertips. Rub it in. Take your hands. Oil your hair. This right here also helps so you don't got to do that step. Um, when you take your hair down. Let me move y'all some since I'm on this front part. And y'all, I'm going to come back in the morning when it's time for me to take down my hair and show y'all what I do. Now, remember, I did not separate my curls. So, I'm not going to have, like, real big hair. The more you separate, the bigger your hair gets. Just so y'all know. And the frizzier your hair gets as well. So if you don't mind your hair being frizzy, go on ahead and separate it more. Like I said, it really all depends on the section. Like right here, I'm going to put another hair bow at the root. Not tight though. 
I'm going to stop right there. I could. Y'all see how much room I have? I could go way further, but I'm not. That's as far as I'm going to stop. Now, this section, I'm going to do the same thing to it. Put some oil in my hands. Rub it in. And when I rub it like this, y'all, I'm rubbing it on the palm of my hands, too. I want y'all to see that. I'm taking my, my fingers and I'm doing like this. So, it's going on the palm of my hands, too. And y'all, I'm just going to take, do the same thing. I squash the oil in, clap it in, you know, do, do what you got to do. Okay, y'all. Now, for this right here part, I'll do the same thing. But y'all, I like to pull mine a, a little bit away from my face and then band it. So then that way, when I take it out, it's not like laying, you know what I'm saying, directly on my face. At least that's what I'm trying to do. Like I said, my hair has grew uh, longer now. So it do be sitting like on my glasses. And I have bought these little clips that we used to wear back in the day. I'm going to show y'all them clips that I be putting up in my hair. And like I said, it depends on the section. This right here section, y'all, I'm going to go on here and put four up on here already. And not three. But don't forget, we don't do the very ends. Did I put four? Yeah, I did. We don't do the very ends because we still want some definition. And y'all, I make sure that it's never tight up on my scalp. I'm going to do the same with this side. I'm going to try to turn so that y'all can see what I'm doing on this side. Split this part into half. Put this half away. And y'all, I'm making sure that I'm not separating my curls. So it's not going to be like a uniform part going straight across because I'm not doing no separation because this right here is the first day. I was going to separate, but I'm not. Now tomorrow, when I go to band my hair, tomorrow night, I'm going to go ahead and separate it again. Okay, now take my oil, put it in my hands. I'm doing the same thing. That I did on the other side. Now, taking my hair bone and I'm banding my hair, going downward, making sure that it's not too tight. This time I'm going to move this bow down, this bow down, and then I'm going to go up at the top and add this last hair bow. Sometimes you got to do that, do what you got to do. It ain't nothing wrong with it. I'm going to take this one out, just one, because like I said, I don't want it too tight. Then I go back and I fix this one right here on the end to me it doesn't take long especially when you want your hair to look a certain way and I notice that when I do my hair like this I don't have to worry about waking up and taking a blow dryer or nothing like that I just take my well I'm gonna show y'all when I come back inside the morning what I do ain't no need for me to talk about it I'm gonna show it to y'all right Okay, so y'all, I'm going to break this right here, let me see, okay, boom, yeah, because this right here section, I have less hair on this side, I have more hair on this side because I did a, um, a side part, so y'all, I'm going to put this middle section away, 
and I'm going to work on the front section first. Doing the same method. Nothing changes. Let me see how I'm going to go. You want to make sure that all your hair that you want laying to the side, that you want to be laying to the side like this, is all in that same section. Because you want your hair, when you take your hair out, you want it to fall how it's supposed to fall. Okay? I'm going to show y'all what I do on this side. This right here section. I just take this right here and I have this. So it's going in a C. That's the way that I have it. Going in a C shape. Because this right here here also lays on this side. I don't want it up. That's the thing. The, the way that you stretch your hair is the way that it's going to lay put it that way so if you lay your hair if I were to do this right here going up like this when I take it out my hair will be like this it's not going to be laid flat to my face okay so keep that in mind and if you want your hair to have some volume you just take a pick and you take it at the roots and you just uh, pick it out a little bit don't pick it all the way to the ends just take it and just fluff it at the roots just a little bit I don't normally do that because my hair just uh, grows. Like I said, as I separate my hair, I get more volume. So, right now, I want my style to last a little long. I have plans this week. So, I want my hair to last a little um, longer. So, as y'all can see, these right here too. Uh, is looking about the same when I push it down up on my face so we good and as y'all can see we got movement ain't nothing tight or stuck you know it ain't tight on your scalp y'all done had a long day okay so if it sound like I've had a long day I have that's all that I'm gonna say it wasn't a stressful day but Y'all had a long day, okay? I am a caregiver. And I am a night caregiver. So overnight. And sometimes during the day depends on uh, what shift that I get. So, y'all, I be pooped a lot of times. But. I'll be trying to stay as consistent as possible. Bringing y'all out content. But don't forget, you can put down in the comments what y'all want to see. Y'all don't be getting up in them comments. Y'all also don't be liking videos, okay? I'll be seeing that my uh, that y'all be looking at them. But y'all don't be liking videos, nor do y'all be inside the comments. And we are family. So, I want to hear from y'all. I enjoy talking to y'all. I literally try to respond to every message. I say every message. I try to respond to every comment that I receive. So, if you go back and if you look, y'all have literally responded to all my comments. At least that I can remember, okay? And then if I haven't responded to your comments... And uh, and I do it all the time. Y'all comment down below. Okay. <laughs> because I promise y'all I don't do it intentionally. But every comment that I see. I do also. Um, reply. And I interact with y'all. I'm not just telling y'all to comment. And I'm not interacting. And y'all I don't never want to be one of them YouTubers. That get to, to that point. Where they have a thousand subscribers. Or more. Thousands of subscribers. A million of subscribers. And, and you don't you don't reply to nobody. I don't want to be that person. I get it. And the bigger that I get, it's going to be a little harder for me to respond to every comment. But y'all, 
I'm going to do my best to respond to the majority of my comments because I enjoy engaging with my family. I really do. All right, y'all. This right here is it. I think I may put another hair bow right here. But. <laughs> y'all, I guess I'll figure it out. Because I'm thinking about putting another one right here. Because this right here ends a little loose. But also, y'all, I don't want my edges to be all tight. That's another thing, too. Be careful with them edges, y'all. Don't have them hair bows too tight. And it's killing your edges. So. Yeah, my edges are growing back in. Let me tell y'all, I know my son is 11, but I went through terrible uh, postpartum where I lost all my edges, okay? So, y'all, it has taken years for me to find the right remedy to grow my edges back. And, y'all, when I tell y'all I was in the kitchen cooking, I was in the kitchen cooking, okay? Okay? And this oil right here, and I'm not just telling y'all because it's my oil that, I, oh, I just want y'all to support me and buy it. I promise you I'm not. Because if I was using any other oil that was growing my hair the way that this oil is growing my hair, y'all, I will tell y'all. I have not, um, not told y'all any products that I have been using. So I will tell y'all. Let me back up. So I will tell y'all if there was another product, y'all, that I was using. This oil is amazing i don't know if y'all have noticed like how long my hair have grown but y'all my hair is just growing and it's thick it's healthy i haven't clipped my ends yet i'm going to go through and i'm going to do some mini twists in my hair so i can clip my ends y'all to be honest i should have uh just left my twist up in my hair to be honest i just thought about it because i'm supposed to be going um to the water park and I done took my twist out. So, y'all, I'll figure it out. I don't normally go to the pool with my hair down or nothing like that. But I don't uh, want to mess up my hair and then have to redo it. But if I get in the water and it get wet, I'm going to have to redo it anyway. So, I guess it don't matter. So, y'all, I'll figure all that out. My pool day hairstyle. Either I'll put, you know, like half up, half down. I'll figure it out. But, y'all... This right here is literally growing my hair. And it's also growing my edges. Like, y'all, I want y'all to see. And I'm not, I ain't making this up, y'all. Y'all see that my edges are still, like, struggling a little thin. But, y'all, my hair is growing. And this right here is my bad side. So, y'all, I'm so, like, impressed with my oil. It impresses me. I have so many testimonies when I do people hair. Even uh, my clients, my elderly clients that I do caregiving with. Y'all, I done use my oil in their hair. Their hair is growing and flourishing. Y'all, I love it. I really do. But y'all, that is it. Because y'all know I get to rambling. And I will hold y'all for longer than what y'all need to be held. And it's already time to go to sleep for me. Okay? It is uh, 11 something. 11.37. So, y'all, it's time for me to go to bed. Okay? Because I have a... Um, oh! Oh! Excuse me, y'all. I'm going to have an early day tomorrow. So, y'all, that is it. I just wanted to share my night routine, what I do with my hair. I did do a previous video, but I didn't go into full uh, detail. Well, not into full detail, but I didn't uh, make a video just for this. It was a video mixed in with another. So, if y'all just wanted to know how I stretch my hair, how I keep my hair elongated when I'm asleep, I'm using no heat because I don't do no blow drying on my hair. Once I uh, do my hair and I put my hair in my twist, I do sit underneath of my bonnet dryer that I showed y'all, my Andis dryer. But from then, y'all, I just stretch my hair. And I get up in the morning, and I take it down, y'all, and keep it pushing. So I'll show y'all what I do in the morning. This right here was my night routine. I don't put no, uh, no bonnet on my hair. Let me say that now. I don't sleep with a bonnet on. I'm going to tell y'all the reason why I don't sleep with a bonnet on. Because, for one thing, my hair be hot at night. 
so I don't sleep with a bonnet on. So I have invested in a um, satin pillowcase. So I have two satin pillowcases on both of my pillows. So when I go to sleep, y'all, that's the only thing that I'm sleeping on is that satin pillow. And when I tell y'all, I feel like it has even improved my face. I don't feel like my face has been breaking out a whole lot, but that could be from a whole nother remedy that I'm doing, y'all, for my face. So, y'all, once I figure out even um, the face products and stuff that I'm, I've been using, I have been, you know, like testing out certain things, but mainly I have been solid on the same uh, skin routines. So, with that being said, I'm going to bring y'all a skin routine as well. What I do for my face, which is super sensitive. My face breaks out very easily. That time of the month. Um, dust. Going outside. Humidity. Y'all, me touching my face. I have to be careful of even me touching things and then touching my face. Because my face breaks out like this. Literally. Alright, y'all. Here I go. Rambling again. <laughs> This is my second time saying I'm going to end this video, but this time I'm going to end it, alright? So, good night, y'all. I holler at y'all inside the morning. I hope that y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you tell your neighbors about me and even them strangers, okay? Until the next time, y'all. Until we chat again, y'all. Until we vibe again. Bye!